Well, hi guys. It's Monday evening, August the 1st, about 10 after 6. I'm calling in a day. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of beating and banging and getting cross members out. Uh, I finally did get all the rivets cut and drove out of these and cross member took out. Uh, had to take it out in pieces. It would not come out as one piece because the cab mount was stuck in here. Interesting thing is this is the bottom mount. <laughs> you think it might have been a little bit bad? <laughs> and it sits, you know, cab sits on here and then this sits on the top, you know, but obviously it wasn't too pretty good. So I am hoping these mounts in the blue cab come apart a lot easier than this did. Um, you know, that mount's pretty explanatory why it was taken out. You know, that's just <laughs> and then this one's got holes in it but the other truck uh, these cross members are the same uh, the one across the top and that one back there so I'm going to take them out of the other truck to put in here after getting all that happy horseplay done and these took off here, I got into this. Got this rivet cut out and then there's a bolt in here that I finally got broke loose. Now I got two rivets under here to cut off and then that bracket will cut off because well you can see why you know <laughs> fairly obvious uh, then we did get the heat shield taken off the front of the cab that was held on by these wonderful little uh, they're kind of like one time use deals where it's got a hole punched in it and then a the little piece sticks up oh there's a good one you can kind of see it they just push them on and they stay well, those had to come off to get this off. And, well, figured before I junk the cab, better strip it. So I took the windshield washer motor, the arms, um, or all the, all the stuff off the heater box. Um, all the screws for that are there. And all the screws for windshield wiper and motor and all that's there so I know what I got and where it is um, yeah <laughs> there's a lot to take apart and a lot to fix before I can even think about putting this cab on and I haven't even uh, got to the motor yet uh, tomorrow I'm going to get the other two rivets on this, on the other one, taken off. Then I got to break both torsion bars 
take the nuts of them off. That one has to come off so I can get the bracket off. And this one, the uh, rubber split on it down there. So I got to change them, you know, get them both off. And probably be raining by then. They're calling for rain today. Chances. Uh, we've got power steering lines. Uh, to change, I'm going to get into probably, while it's down like this, put a new set of glow plugs in it uh, and check some of the wiring on the other side and this side too because I noticed my little wire loom was burnt, melted. So one of these wires has gotten hot. Uh, I got some checking to do there and on the other side too. Now by God, that's a mosquito. Look at the size of that bugger. Mm. He did, but that's a good size skeeter. <laughs> Some of these around here will carry off. But that's where I am on Monday night. Uh, you'd think taking them ribbits out, oh, that'll be easy. Oh, there's a lot of beating and banging there. A lot of beating and banging to get this off. Um, but, you know, I got the time now. Now's the time to do it because uh, it's cheaper for me to fix it than it is to get another truck. I uh, get it done. I'm going to run it down to a buddy of mine and let him look at the back end. The inside of the back tire there is wearing funny. And I want to get that looked at. But we'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I am making progress, slow but sure. See you next time, guys. I'll add this on to the end. Um, yeah, the, getting this cab stripped out. And, you, you know, it's really obvious why... I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, <laughs> but it's get all the little, all the, you know, all the little stuff off of it. Um, one thing I've got to do yet, I'm going to cut these rivets off. There's a couple more that I got to take this heat shield off and keep that. Um, and I'll probably get in the cab and take this boot cover, undo that, and take that off. Uh, just anything I think I might need or can use. Because uh, you never know. Would save the windshield, but it's got a big scratch in it. Uh, it ain't worth fooling with, really. And I got some other things to do. <laughs> uh, but this cab, for what it's worth, is stripped out and almost ready to load up and be got out of here. I uh, may take this wiring harness out. I'm not sure yet. Uh, who knows what I'll do. It's... Uh, A lot of work to get it to that point, I'm telling you. <laughs> Ain't like the old days where you could, uh, you know, like pulling a steering column where it's a couple bolts and you can drop the thing out and pull it out. <laughs> nay, nay, not on this one. Woo! That's a half a day job just to get that dude out. Hey, any rate, guys, I'm going to get off here. Uh, I'll tack this on to the end of the other one. So we'll see you next time, and as always... Please comment, rate, and subscribe. It's been a long, hot day. And uh, they've been calling for rain. 
I don't know. It's kind of looking like it, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Hope it don't, because Bohan Farms has got hay down about a mile right up the road. <laughs> so we'll see you next time, guys. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe.